So, um, how's it, guys? Um, I am here just outside um, Clan William by the dam. It's not very nice here at the moment. They're busy because construction's been going on for ages. And, um, the construction's been going on for ages. And, um, yeah, I'm here on a, on a bit of a solo trip. For the long weekend i'm looking forward to it so much been um super busy at work been busy with been super busy at work um and been quite a lot of stuff going on and um i just uh, decided to get away for the for the long weekend haven't been away on a solo trip for quite a while and um, yeah man I am um, I'm super amped so um, my plans are I'm getting from here I just I left so I left Cape Town early afternoon um, I'm heading to a spot called um, Tolbo Scroll um, near Kamiskruen in Northern Cape um, it's a uh, it's bush camps. I'm there for two nights and then I'm heading out to family friends. They've got a farm. There's a dam on the farm where I, we used to go when I was quite young. Um, obviously, there will be no one there. So um, I'm going to go and camp there for two nights. Um, and then I'm heading back on Sunday. Um, nice four-day break. Um, got all the stuff packed. Got some beers. Got everything else. I'm going to Bry tonight. So I'm super keen. I'll be there probably around just around sunset tonight um, if everything goes well which I hopefully it will and um, and yeah so um, I haven't made a video in quite a while so I'm also doing that I'm taking you guys along for the for the journey so I hope you enjoy So um, I just wanted to stop real quick and I'll show you some images now or some video now. Um, it's just the first, um, it's just some of the first flowers um, getting into the Namakwalan side. It's obviously flower season because of all the rain, it's been amazing. So um, I mean, just look here. The sun's not great at the moment, but um, and this is just the side of the road. So anyway, yeah, carrying on. So um, I know I said it earlier and um, I showed you a little bit of it, but um, I'm just outside Kamiskruen now and it's amazing how green it is. It looks like, um, it looks like Iswatland. It's absolutely amazing. I haven't seen this in years. We, um, we came through here in March and it was absolutely abysmal or it was quite depressing to be honest and um, but yeah I, I mean just look at this I haven't seen it like this in, uh, as I said in a very long time it's just uh, it's crazy I'm so glad for these people that they've got um, they got some proper rain.
So um, I just, just turned off and coming screwing on my way there. It's another 20 kilometers. Um, just let some air out of my tires. And um, yeah, super keen for that first beer. I um, actually can't wait. So I can't wait to get there. Sun's going to set very soon. Um, but yeah, just. So, um, so I uh, literally just got here, finished um, setting up camp. A couple of things I still need to take out. Had to get one of these, nice and ice cold. Um, this place is absolutely amazing. There's no one here. It's nicely laid out. Um, I think uh, the weather's not too bad. It's going to get cold tomorrow, apparently, but. Um, and then Friday even colder. I think it drops down from like 30 earlier in this week or 35, which it like was in Fridendal or from Rainstorm, to um, like 14 on Friday apparently. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but um, tonight's going to be fairly cold, like 8, 9 degrees centigrade. But that's fine. It's a nice little section there um, that I'll show you just now. Um, but... Um, where the bry area is and everything, it's just a bit dark at the moment, so I'll need to light the fire and get it going. I'm going to do that now, brying some chops tonight, and um, some lamb chops, and I'll prepare that, and then I'm going to sit and do absolutely nothing. I have a couple of more of these, maybe take a couple of pictures of the stars, there's some kookerboomer, uh, or, or I'm not even sure what the English name is, um, trees over there that might look very nice with the with the stars but i'll see i don't know if i'm going to do anything tonight maybe i'll just do it tomorrow just afraid it might be a little bit more overcast but um i am quite knackered long drive going to chill needed this break um so yeah chat later
so good morning. Um, it's about know, eight o'clock or so. Had a very nice evening. The weather was amazing. Um, bride read a book and then went to sleep. Slight breeze this morning, uh, but nothing too hectic. Um, just making some coffee now. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the day. I'll probably be, um, I want to go out up onto that uh, copy there, or hill for that matter, and um, to go for a bit of a hike. And uh, yeah, I don't have that much to do, but uh, keen to go and explore, take a few photos. Hopefully the sunset will be as nice as last night and I'll be settled somewhere where I can take a couple of nice pictures. So I need, want to go and scout a little bit. Um, you can see the flowers up there popping out. Today it's going to be cooler as well, so there will be more flowers. Um, and hopefully with tomorrow's little bit of rain, hopefully it actually comes, um, there might be even more. So. Uh, yeah, let me get cooking or cracking on that coffee. About 10 o'clock, it's getting quite warm. I don't know what they meant by slightly cooler than yesterday. It's quite hot already. Um, so I'm gonna go for a quick hike or maybe a long hike, don't know. I um, think I'm gonna go up there. Um, but we'll see. Um, I'm quite keen, so um, hopefully it's not too hot. Back to beer as well, just for in case. And um, so yeah, uh, let's go. Um, it's quite hot <laughs> as I said yesterday I'm not used to the heat um, because of our long winter that we had in Cape Town as well as um, not going outside much because of lockdown so I mean we were away on a couple of trips but I mean compared to normal wasn't that much super nice um, so the one thing I just wanted to show you so something that farmers never do they never leave dead sheep in the field when they die because other sheep would eat the bones and get really sick apparently um, so it's just not something that you do like general rule as a farmer um, but with the drought it was so heavy as I mentioned yesterday like 150 years worse than 150 years lasted for seven and they got like no rain um, everything died the birds the insects the plants everything um, and um, one one of the things that's unfortunately reality is because it was so dry they couldn't keep up with all the sheep dying. So you'd see this, un it's unfortunate, but that's a reality. Um, you see uh, dead sheep everywhere, unfortunately, um, because they just couldn't keep up with picking it up. There were just too many dying, uh, which is super sad, but that's how heavy it was. So, I mean, and this one doesn't even look like it's been there for too long. So that means um, it just died right before the, before the rain came, unfortunately. But um, at least they got some rain, and um, well, you can see all the nice, the nice flowers. Um, you can also see the water glistening on the rock shelf there. So um, I'm going to walk up over the hills and then down that side, and then there's a ravine there. So I'm going to go there and see if there's some water, because a swim would be quite nice. I am. Uh, 
quite hot. Got my sunscreen as well. So uh, anyway, let's carry on. So there's indeed some water, so now I need to look for a nice little pool to swim in. I think I want to walk that way. So, this is... Uh, Awesome. A little bit of shade. Find some water, obviously. Not a lot, but enough to just chill in. Cheers. As I said yesterday, I haven't done a solo trip in very long. Um, forever, to be honest. And I wasn't really sure what to expect. Um, last night, got here immediately or just as I got here I was a little bit bored or lonely is probably the other word but um, as soon as I settled in chilled a little bit had something to eat started reading it's all good it's really nice and this morning has been great it's just <laughs> for the millionth time it's quite hot but um, the walk's been nice this water is cooling me down properly the beer is amazing so um yeah, so far so good. Day one. So tomorrow and then on Saturday still full days and then we're heading back on Sunday. Keen for tomorrow, heading to a new place. There's tadpoles everywhere. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's been, uh, it's been great. 